بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم Sometimes or many times uh, people change their lives Somebody goes to Jamaat, their life changes Somebody goes to a Sheikh, they go to a Bayan, they go to a lecture They go to a program Something happens and their life changes Now Alhamdulillah, what will happen automatically? They will want that same change and that same goodness for their family members Do you understand? But what we have to remember is what caused you to change? Do you understand? You're in Jamaat and you're hearing Nasiha, lectures, Fadal of the Salah so many times in a day and slowly, slowly it grows on you. Yes? Now you can't expect that you go home and the way you've reached, you bring your family there immediately. Something has caused you to reach that level, hasn't it? That you've heard the, the virtues of Salah so often and you've heard the warnings regarding that form of Salah so often that you've now realized how, bad, how important this is. And when you go home, you can't just expect that the same feelings that you have, they're automatically in them. You have to make the same effort on them. Do you understand? You, you went to a lecture, and because of that lecture, you thought, yeah, I need to get rid of the TV. I need to stop listening to this. Or stop. So now, this lecture influenced you. Now you have this mindset. You have this goal and ambition. When you come home, you can't expect your brother, your sister, your mom, your daughter, your wife, who's not hurt, had the same influence to be on the same level, they'll actually get a bit like, what are you doing? This so what you have to do is, the same effort that was made on you, make the same or more effort for them to reach that same level. If you can't make that effort, then try to get them onto that same path. Take them to the lecture, make them hear the lecture. And you didn't hear, every time you hear one thing, do you act upon it immediately? Sometimes it's yes, yeah, sometimes no. Hit and miss, isn't it? So it's hit and miss with you. So after 20 times, it hit you. So maybe it might take 30 times for your, for your wife, 25 times for your daughter, 16 times for your brother. Do you understand? So that's one problem sometimes you face that. Not a not problem, but um, trying to get your family or get other people who you love to want the same thing. Do you understand? So the same way that particular lecture, that particular book, that particular person, that particular bayan or nasiha or hadith or advice, it influences you, something hit you, something caused that in you. So you have to make sure work to make sure that similar causes occur for them. And the same way many times you hear things and you don't do amal upon it, you have to it's possible that I will say many times it will not work, but keep on trying. It doesn't mean you give up, it means keep on trying and hope and make dua. Do you understand? You understand what I'm saying? You saw other people in Masjid performing Salah, you saw the Tahajjud, and you have that mahul. Your brother never got that mahul, that environment. He didn't see that, he didn't feel that. So either take him there or create that environment. Do you understand? So, yeah, you can't just. You, you want that, that's very good. That's the first step. That What good you saw for yourself, you want for other people as well. Yes, Quran Tilawa, or Dhikr, or whatever, leaving some sins, even leaving, leaving uh, Makruhat, or leaving Mubahat, doing Nawafil, praying for Tahajjud. You want that for your family and your friends, and that's very good. But the effort that was made upon you, you have to make even the same amount or even more.